Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central at Display Week 2014. I'm here in the Rockwell Collins uh, booth, uh, where I've just learned about a, um, uh, a new license that they've done for their uh, optical bonding uh, technology. Uh, and that has gone to a company in uh, Korea called uh, Digital Innovation Display. Uh, and this is going to be used to produce uh, tablets uh, at a very high production rate. They're saying actually of like a million uh, devices per month. Um, so um, Rockwell will not be involved specifically in that production, but licenses the uh, technology to enable them to do that. Uh, because in the, in the previous uh, production flow, uh, DID, that's the licensee, uh, would get uh, big sheets of, of panels from the panel supplier, uh, cut them up, um, and then uh, attach them some driver electronics to that but then they would have to send them back to the ODM uh, to have the touch screen uh, bonded to, that, uh, to the panel. It would then come back uh, to DID uh, where they would finish off the, uh, the, the, the device by adding the backlight and the frame and whatnot. Uh, now, since they've licensed the Rockwell uh, bonding technology, they don't have to send it back out. They can basically do the bonding uh, in-house. Uh, that will save, obviously, some time and, and money in shipping and, and theoretically should be... Uh, uh, more cost effective and, and timely for them to, to do that. Uh, so this is the first time they've actually licensed this technology for uh, consumer applications. So that's kind of a, a big milestone for them. Uh, and they're also now going to sp uh, have, will be building some machinery that will be able to support uh, high volume production. Uh, and that machinery will um, then allow them to go after some additional markets now. Uh, for example, in the, in the medical field, um, they can be, be able to st uh, start to support uh, products that have uh, higher production runs in the medical devices and, and other markets uh, because they now will now have this, uh, this machining capability. Uh, so what's important about what Rockwell's uh, done here is um, their, their technology is basically a, a way to uh, use a film to mate a, a touch screen or a cover glass to um, uh, an LCD display without an air gap and without um, any um, bubbles that are in the film. Uh, they say they're perhaps the only company that can do this for large size displays. Um, other, other people uh, can do film-based bonding, but on smaller size displays. So they have uh, IP uh, both in the materials and the process used to do that, uh, as well as the machinery uh, to do that as well. Um, So, uh, yeah, the, the other thing uh, they wanted to say is they are now also in production with a 15-inch uh, pro uh, projection capacitive uh, display for a hospital application. Uh, so that should be ramping for them soon. Uh, and they're also now starting to show prototypes of, of medical devices. And this goes now back to the capability of, of having this machine that can do runs of, you know, 500,000 uh, a year, for example. Now they can start to compete for uh, products uh, in, the, in the automotive field where have uh, high production runs. Uh, so that's pretty much the story here from Rockwell Collins, uh, Chris Chenock for Display Center.